Sup, ballers? Well, after years of trying, I finally managed to get relocated to Boston. So if you're wondering why I haven't done anything on YouTube lately, that's primarily the reason why. However, I have something in store for us today. I had a layover in Charlotte, North Carolina and ended up at an adult novelty store, which I think we can figure out what that means. And my love for baseball and my love for sex happened to coincide together in one board game, apparently. <laughs> Bedroom baseball. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen this prior to buying it at the store, and it was 20 bucks, which for a board game seems meh, okay, so long as the board game is halfway decent. I genuinely have no idea what to make of this based on what's on the back. So we're gonna find out together. Naturally, I would rather play this with somebody than play with myself. But that would be against terms of service for YouTube. We're gonna go with that as the excuse. So let's go ahead and just pop this baby open. I have not opened this, and you are about to find out with me what the fuck this is. All right, and we open it, and this already looks dissatisfying. Um, there is a deck of cards uh, with the little rubber band on them. And the rubber band broke. Charm. Uh, only the finest quality of rubber bands from the adult bookstore. It comes with a board, which, given that this is a board game, of course you would want to have a board. But what the fuck? So all of these options that we have here are more or less sex acts in some way. Uh, you can, the very first spot, give a one minute foot massage. And from there, it just kind of escalates. Like, uh, for example, home run. What do you think that's an allusion to? Just, just go ahead and just fucking nut right inside her. Has anybody ever finished this game? Like, did they just like get about halfway through orgasmed and called it quits. And while there are no instructions for this game, there are preparation instructions for this game. <laughs> and I will read it to you in full. In order to take full advantage of the home run activity cards, we recommend that you first plan ahead, which I of course did not, by having items on hand such as flavored body toppings, blindfolds, massage oils, and arousing objects such as toys. By doing so, the game will be both more pleasurable and exciting. I'm thinking the game is an afterthought. The object of this game, players run around the bases performing four play activities and collecting home run cards in an effort to be the first player to reach home plate where sexual fulfillment awaits. I had no idea that sexual fulfillment was at home plate. It explains why I've been doing sex so wrong. And also explains, I guess, the home run cards. The home run spot must be the card. So and you just have shit like this. Have your lover tell you a naughty bondage fantasy and then act it out. Okay. Well, maybe this won't be too bad. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and flick our, flick our thing. Oh, and of course, right off the bat, we're going to, uh, what is it? Home run. Ahead five. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. First base, one minute of French kisses. If that wasn't frightening enough for you, we're gonna have to go again. Oh, fuck, I, I fucked that up. There we go. It's right on the fucking line, but I think it's a single. Let's go. Bronx cheer, go back, one. More French kisses. Hopefully we can do something besides French kiss ourselves. Ah, fuck. All right, hit by pitch. Oh, fuck off. I gotta do this shit again? All right, please, do anything else. All right, uh, triple ahead three. Thank God. One, two, three. Share a sex secret. I'm not into blowjobs all that much. I mean, I have kind of a problem with just sitting there and just letting it happen. I'm kind of the guy who wants to be doing shit. That's my secret. All right, let's see what we got now. Yeah. All right, 
go. One ahead. Receive a playful spanking. Okay, God, please. What, what, what now? Just what? All right, so foul ball spinning. What? God damn it. Why is that even an option? Like, why, why would I want to spin again? Like, this, this just seems like the box and out of the park. All right, there we go. Strike, lose a turn. I'm playing by myself. How do I possibly... You know what? That's just sad in itself. I'm not even going to finish the thought. Okay, I'm counting that. Triple. One, two. Run down. Go back one. Second base. Privates massaged with lube. Well, I have the lube, but unfortunately, Terms of Service will not allow me to show you me getting off with the lube. So we're going to move on. And we're going to have a triple. All right. One, two. Share a secret... Fantasy. I've always been into nuns. I don't know why. Ever since I saw fucking Sister Act when I was a kid, that has been my thing. Uh, maybe some religious oppression or something in my part as a kid played a part into that, but that's a different story. God, what what now? Just all right. Uh, that looks to be a double. So pop. Receive a naughty lap dance. Well, that's not happening. What's next? All right, so what's the, we got two. Have a naked pillow fight. Well, I don't know about naked pillow fight, but we can definitely have a pillow fight. I think I lost. What's next? Please, we're so close to the fucking end. All right, one, two, masturbate each other for one minute ah uh, okay well that's definitely a good warm-up for home fucking plate which according to this what what did it fucking say where sexual fulfillment awaits i think it's more like sexual frustration now here's my question because again there are no directions for this what do you do like if you get more than one on your next spin you just you had, what? You go to home plate automatically? Do you have to go back this way? Or do you just get stuck there till you get a fucking one? That really seems like a big cock tease to me. Bad, bad game design. Hit by a pitch. Well, I have reached sexual fulfillment according to this game. But I do not actually feel like I have been sexually fulfilled, so. Let's check out these home run cards. So for these home run little spots, you're supposed to be flipping these and reading them. So uh, blindfold, you're okay. Uh, another blindfold and tie. All right, what else we got? Tie and blindfold. They changed up the wording a little bit. Uh, blindfold. All right. The, the blindfold. These are almost exactly the same. They just want you to blindfold and tie and do things to other body parts. There's more to sex than being blindfolded. All right, T. Oh, here finally. Using an adult toy. Okay. This does not count as an adult toy. Lather. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to use lube in the shower. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, using your tongue and mouth, find your lover's erogenous zone. Start with your lover's earlobes and make your way down their body before retracing your path on up. And reverse cowgirl. There we go. Something I think we all can enjoy. And you decide. Either you or your lover masturbates while the other one watches. I think I, at this point, would just do it myself to get it over with. And we'll just do one more. Wow, well, that's stupid. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Have your lover tell you a naughty but bondage fantasy and then act it out. I'm going to put that with the blindfolded and tied up cards. Uh, what the fuck is this? Most couples ignore the backside of their bodies. Drizzle something tasty on your lover's backside. Then starting from the bottom, work your way up as if you lick it off. Um, I'm probably not starting at the bottom for that. This game does not even know how sex works in the 21st century, which is kind of a shame because that's its whole fucking thing. 
So in conclusion, if you really need a game like this to spice up your sex life, you are more pathetic than me. Don't buy this game. You are literally just giving 20 bucks for something you could probably have come up on your own. In fact, maybe even a better game than this because this, this is stupid. This is fucking redundant. I can't say that word on, on YouTube anymore. Seriously, there are more productive ways to spice up your sex life for 20 bucks that do not involve a piece of cardboard with a fucking spinner on it that barely functions and cards that all they fucking do is tell you to tie up and blindfold your lover like you're fucking Bill Cosby. With that said, I'm glad I'm fucking done with this. I was curious what was in the box, but now I'm just frustrated because it's just reminding me of all the awesome sex I'm not having at the moment. So, thank you. Uh, hit that like button as well as that subscribe button and maybe next time I'll have something of quality to present you. Good night.